Hi, in my previous video, I was able to illustrate how you can be able to assign material and section to, bo to both ball and our plate. Today, I will illustrate how you can be able to define boundary conditions that is fixing this plate edges and assigning a velocity to our body so that this body can impact the plate by a certain velocity. Therefore, for, for us to assign velocity to the body, you go back to model keyword or FEM model keyword manager. We need now to select initial. What is the initial state of our model here? Initial. Then for the initial, we select velocity. I'm looking for velocity generation. This is the commonly used parameter to define your initial velocity. You want to assign some velocity to this ball at which it hits the plate. Therefore, double click velocity. There are three ways of assigning type. Set type, you have to use either part set ID, part ID, non set ID. I need to use part ID. And for the part, just select this and select your ball that is going to move done that is going to move at a speed of negative 20 meters per second okay then you have to accept and done we have assigned velocity to the body next thing we need to assign is a boundary conditions therefore you go to create entity you can go to fem model part create entity or model part create entity we need to apply constraint. We have a boundary SPC. We have constraint. I will illustrate these ones later, but today we're going to focus on SPC. SPC means a single point constraint. I want to use to create. I'm going to create. I want to use by edge. I want to use by edge. Let me first for go. I want to go on the top. Top view, zoom out a little bit. I'm using by edge. I want to propagate, propagate selection seed element so that once you select the edge, it selects the other, other edges for you automatically. Therefore, if you select this prop, it propagates all the way to the end. Therefore, you have to select that edge. You don't have to press control. If you zoom out, you can see now it is able to propagate. Now, now zoom, zoom out this corner, select this and this edge. If you zoom out, all four edges has been selected. We now set create want to apply. We can show this edge or hide. Therefore, on to show, we can all or none. I don't, I don't want to see anything for now. Therefore, our plate now can't move. Our plate is fixed. If this one hits this plate, this plate is fixed on these four edges. Okay? That's how you define initial velocity and that's how you define boundary conditions. My next video, I'm going to illustrate how you can now define the contact set to define how this ball is going to touch the plate. Then from there, we run our simulation and get results.